，哎，当当当，等等。Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, Silburn here. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Keisha, Kenisha, Sonia Witt. Um, and uh, how is everybody? Can you hear me loud and clear? If you can hear me loud and clear, let me know. Awesome, beautiful. Okay, I, I cut. I go straight to the chase. Um, and uh, good afternoon again, Silburn Sidil here. Uh, I put a post up in regards to an inbox which I received uh, talking about that the uh, there's a petition for a knighthood for Usain Bolt. Um, the petition author is Member of Parliament in the UK, Don Butler. Um, I saw the petition. I choose not to post it. I choose not to like it. I also chose not to sign it um, because I believe that it's the wrong way to do it. Nevertheless, at the same time, anyone is free to do what they want to do. Anyone is free to um, do any sort of post. Anyone is free to, uh, what should I say? Um, doing a petition anyone is free to lobby the queen anyone is free to do what they want to do and likewise I'm also free to give my views and my view in a way it is like that particular petition seeming to me and that is my perspective as somewhat to um, yeah, it seems to, to delegitimize the achievements of Usain Bolt. Why would you say that? That it delegitimize the achievements of Usain Bolt? Because it seems like right after Usain Bolt uh, and his career at the height, I mean, this guy is a top guy. This guy is a knight. This guy is a king. This is a king of the trap this is big big guy one is seeking and doing a petition to lobby the queen the queen of england to give a knighthood to usain bolt right now the question as to whether you okay okay i I think I got disconnected right there for a second. Let me, <clears throat> let's start all over again. Silburn here. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you are there, Sharon, Barry, if you're there, let me know. Give me a link. Let me see if you can actually hear me. Anyhow, quickly, as I was saying. Yeah, so I, I saw this post and uh, I saw this petition and I said to myself, nah, this is, we are, we are in this era now whereby many people are saying, many people, many factions are saying, we've got ourselves as former colonies um, people are looking especially Jamaica to see if they can um, have uh, the final court of appeal to not be the Privy Council in the UK but the final court of appeal to be the Caribbean Court of Justice and also people are looking to see if they can get reparations also people are trying to see if the Queen of England can be removed and to not have the uh, Queen of England as a head of state. So the head of state presently now in Jamaica is the Queen of England, represented by the Governor General in Jamaica. Okay, so therefore that's how things are. That's how things are positioned. Um, in regards to the knighthood, uh, a knighthood, in a sense, is as to whether one accepts it or not is not the issue for me personally. It's not about whether the, the knighthood is accepted or not. That's another case, like with Benjamin, 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 Benjamin Zephaniah, who actually chose not to actually accept the, the um, what do you call it, the, the knighthood or any award from the 
from the empire because he figured that this is a, a remnant of a, a past of an empire which still is in existence even though it has changed and metamorphosed and evolution um, and, and being evolutionized over the years so whereby that is not the case um, whereby the people who are sitting there now is not the same person who was there before but the remnants of that still exists hence why Zephaniah believed that he would not accept it like other few people and believe that it doesn't ring a bell very strong with them now that's their perception that's their views now in regards to this particular incident or this particular case with the member of parliament British member of parliament seeking to lobby and seeking a petition to get the Queen of England or to the Prime Minister because that's what the petition says to actually give you same bolt a knighthood and I said hang on a second for a second well not for a second hang on a second what is that really saying is that saying that for you same bolt to be great or for him to be at the top of the level or the top of the game or to somewhat be validated there's got to be a knighthood hear me out again I'm not saying a knighthood shouldn't be conferred I'm not saying that he shouldn't accept a knighthood whether they accept it or not it is a process it is a psyche of why persons believe that they should be lobbying the Queen for that the question is why why is there the need for a knighthood because of his great achievements what is that what is the message what is that signal what is what is that saying I repeat nothing is wrong if you want to accept a knighthood nothing is wrong if the Queen of her own volition um, uh, of her own um, based on how they operate based on the recommendations uh, put to the cabinet office based on the recommendation from the governor general and I believe there's an issue about uh, can the UK really give a knighthood to somebody who is not a citizen of the UK uh, as a Commonwealth um, person you know can they get a knighthood right so that's the thing so I'm saying to myself and I'm saying to people out there and this is my simple thing that when people are saying well Silburn will you would you take a knighthood and I'm saying this is not about me it's not about whether I want to take a knighthood or not let's not take it towards me it's about the thinking the social conscious the mindset of a people that is seeking to get some validation some say validation some say um, 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 ad, ad, admiration or whatever like that to get some sort of validation from the British Empire to say that you're great okay and I believe that is a problem Marcus Garvey birthday was the 17th of this month right and at a time like this where it talks about the social consciousness of a black people of our people the social consciousness of understanding self the social consciousness of knowing who you are the resolve of an understanding of identity then why does one want to seek validation from the Queen of England to say that you're great that's my point mark you as I said and I said again if someone want to accept a knighthood or whatever like that's up to them but should we go about begging I say the word beggy beggy someone uh, uh, beggy beggy is a sense of begging asking you know um, you know requesting many people say that different way. I use it very straight and I say beggy beggy because that is begging you know one of the things that I also say about awards there's a period of time when there's lots of award ceremonies around and people say oh I've been nominated and by being nominated people are now gone this massive campaign to somewhat get people to vote for them um, um, to get that level of uh, validation because of the amount of likes because the amount of persons I believe that one of the best ways really is for someone to say listen we have seen Usain Bolt over the years we have seen his achievement you know let us give him some honor or, or something of that nature right but to go about wanting to get petition to get signatures to create a movement why I'm asking you ladies and gentlemen why why is that need 
why is that need I, I remember denzel washington when somebody was questioning denzel washington as to why he didn't get some sort of um oscars or these nominations or whatever like that he get nomination and denzel said simpler man gives the award but god gives the reward you know man gives the award but god gives the reward yeah so and 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 I, I started to check out something in regards to the process of knighthood i am just and and and, and i thought that a member of parliament would have known um the whole process about the whole knighthood thing you know and it says uh, and this is this is this is what I, I check out anyone can be nominated to receive a kb or dbd so as long as they meet the queen's honor requirement for the award a knighthood or demo can be presented for all types of different achievement but usually the person nominated will have made a major contribution to the country at the national or international level their work and achievement will be viewed as inspiration to others and they may have influenced their peers industry you know often a knighthood will be awarded as a progression of an individual previous recognition of mb or or whatever like that professor jeffrey palmer i don't know if person know professor jeffrey palmer he received a knighthood for his innovative and outstanding research into grain science and malt a scotland's first black professor i met him before i'm going to interview him sir joff is also well known as a committed human rights activist there's no need for any petition for him to have been um, nominated because he was um he was a a professor and and whatever in his own right yeah and so 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 my question is this and there's lots of discussion i mean you have seen the facebook page lots of discussion by persons person agree person disagree but my thing is not about whether one agree or disagree i believe we're at this threshold i mean you've seen what is happening in america now we're at this threshold this pivotal moment now whereby we have young people just in yesterday in brixton black black boys black men whatever killing themselves okay that is not something new right in america most killing of black persons not by police is by black people you understand right a level of social consciousness need to arise and need to come and need to be in um be in the depth of persons in order for one to actually reach to a level of consciousness so when i see things like uh, uh petitions lobbying to be recognized why what is it in the mindset that one needs to have that level of recognition to feel somewhat validated some people question the word when i say validation but i use validation because it's a psychic psychic mental psychological issue really there some people skate over the whole process right but i'm 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 shooting it straight on some people skate over it to say it is not about validation it's about the achievements then why do you need an award for an achievement isn't the achievement already said it all isn't all those gold that you say bolt acquired based on his own effort said it all why need a knighthood why need to a uh, petition the UK government for a knighthood why is that need why, why is it in the the psyche where are the period as i said where many are wanting reparations we are at a period where many are saying remove the queen as a head of state we are at, uh, of jamaica of the caribbean of different countries we are at a position whereby we are saying we want the caribbean court of justice to be the final court of appeal we are at a position whereby people are talking about even even the uk is talking about brexit getting rid of the european union wanting to have that level of self governance then why when one of our great sons or great daughters reach to the pinnacle of success that need to be topped off by a knighthood by saying he needs it does he need it 
as I said before, ladies and gentlemen, nothing is wrong if someone wants to take it. But we don't become beggy beggy. I use the word beggy beggy, all right? Many people might not understand that word, but it's a Jamaican term that's saying to licky licky, all right? That's what it is. I say beggy beggy. I, I go straight to the chase. Call it what it is, all right? So I will not be signing that petition. I leave the queen at her time through the relevant process to whenever it's time being to do whatever they want to do. But at the same time, I don't believe that he can be knighted by. Um, I think there's some honorary knighthood or something like that because he's not a citizen. But maybe as a commonwealth, maybe maybe that can happen. Um, but there's something I, I, I saw here um, uh, where it says, anyone can be nominated. Something about the, how do I nominate someone? You, you know, if you'd like to make a nomin, uh, can I be nominated? Uh, if for example, what is the best time to make a nomination? So there, there are many things. There's a there's a page that tells you how the whole process work, and so therefore one don't have to go about um, trying to move the queen's hand. You know, uh, you know one of the things I, I I strongly think of at all times is that, you know, th there's a time of really getting to terms with yourself who we are and not actually trying to get things you know people go for charities people go for handout and and i think we've got to move from that particular level and actually build within ourselves as i said in america with what is happening now it's a time for people to actually recognize the level of identity which one has right so so I, I made my position very clear there. I just wanted it to drop a bit on the the, 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 the the Facebook bit there just to sort of put a sort of voice to the whole thing to say that it is very important and very crucial, right, at this time that we don't be beggy beggy, we don't be licky licky, we don't go for petitions trying to get the, to move the Queen's hand because it shows to me personally that there's a lack of consciousness i mean if you recall the whole work of marcus garvey talk about of self-reliance about emancipating oneself from mental slavery you know i hear people saying that if you don't like it if you don't want it why don't you why don't you leave the uk and i found that a bit very despicable and i find that a bit very untasteful there's a lack of discussions there stuff like that you know lack of class you know, I, I find those those things about that it, it, it's uh, it, it it's it's somewhat um, the normal thing to do. But going for the normal things doesn't mean to say that we should accept it. Yeah, as someone said, to look to the standard of the same one, mental slavery is real. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know. It's a mental. It, 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 it's really mental. It's psychological, man. Honestly. I see it as psychological. You know? If you ever watch a week of the baby, this is the big voice I'm using. No, 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 no. Right? It is. I, I don't know. I don't know. You know? I, I, I look to listen, watch, read some of the comments which you're making and stuff like that. Uh, Felicia, you said you didn't go past the whole point when I said. Uh, Beggy, beggy. I hope you have read now what I actually said. <laughs> you know, because, because you said that, uh, you know, you, you saw nothing but beggy, beggy. So, the, so the humor side of it. But, but there are some. There, there have been some, them, some really um, interesting comments, and and it, it made me also think. It made me also think about the whole thing. I, I, I you know, different persons come on. I mean. Uh, June Daly, she mentioned the British black MP who is looking for knighted for Usain Bolt. Please, my lady, go into the community and look into knife crime, right? Some are saying, then why not seek to get Marcus Garvey pardon? Go for a petition on the way. Why not go for a petition to get reparation or so? But for Marcus Garvey, bit, I say one doesn't need a petition for Marcus Garvey to be pardoned because any freedom fighter or any sort of uh, national hero the way that they get their status 
is by going against the grain, going against the flow, challenging the authority of the day. And that is how they, they will never actually line up. And the reason why you got persons like um, Martin Luther King was in prison. That's why you got Mandela was in prison. That's why George William Garner, Paul Bogle, Manley's, everybody have some sort of altercation with the law. No need for pardon because they fought a battle. You know, they fought a nanny of the Maroons. They fought it. Right? And this is not saying that one is to be disrespectful to the powers that be, to the queen, lovely lady, to the royal family. But think about this for a second. In America right now, they are trying to tear down a lot of the remnants of the past. Persons who were architect involved in the world slavery discussion. Not discussion, the slavery act. So you have to ask yourself this question now. Hang on a second. So you're seeking for a knighthood from the British Empire. Hmm. You're seeking a knighthood from the British Empire. Well, what is the British Empire? What was the architect of the British Empire? What did the British Empire do? How did Britain get rich? How has Britain become flourishing? Was it on the backs of Brits or on the backs of slave? You know? Uh, David Burton, I'm not talking about Mofar. You can juxtapose and go over there and say that I'm overthinking this. But my, 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 my young... My my young brother, I say this to you with all due respect. That is your opinion, right? I don't care one hoot about Sir Mohammed Farah. I'm talking about Jamaicans, right? Okay, that's what it is. Because guess what? Somalia have their own issues, and Mohammed Farah is saying that he's not more anymore. He's Mohammed Farah, as you rightly said. So we don't get into this juxtapose. People are going to talk about, well, Vivian Richards got one. Well, that person got one. I think that's the problem. We tend to juxtapose and try to look at other things and deflect from it. I make my assurance and my, <clears throat> my passion very, very, very clear without any shadow of a doubt. I say it's a social conscious um, gap. There's a depravity. In the mindset of persons at this present moment to really think that it is acceptable to think that it is okay to petition the Queen of England to give Usain Bolt a knighthood as a level of validation I make no apologies about that up he mighty people as Marcus Garvey says we are mighty without validation we are mighty without a knighthood we are mighty without an award because God gives the reward I want our people our children to know that the same remnants of slavery that brought us listen I was watching India and Pakistan celebrating 70 years of independence carved out by the British Empire fighting one another they were for years celebrating independence and I questioned myself and I said why a nation which existed so long before is having independence? Why some African nations celebrate independence from the British Empire? You see, we have got to look into these things. So when I see this simple thing out there, which seems to be simple, which seems to be overthinking, I think to myself and say, hang on a second, there's a jinx in this. I was having a chat with Maxi Hales today, great activist in Birmingham, shocked, he's appalled by this. Few persons call me, don't want to maybe put their name out there. Appalled that at this level of time, when they're marching for reparations, marching for social recognition, marching to be recognized. Right now, the American Constitution sees black people as less, right? Right now, the Americans or in America has never apologized for slavery. Right now, America has never had a Truth and Reconciliation Commission about slavery. The Jews have had it. 
They've got the reparations. You get what I'm trying to say? So I make no apologies for this. Because if we don't stand our ground, when we see these different things, we'll see more fighting of your young people. We see more killing because guess what? We have no consideration or actualization of self, of understanding who we are as a people. Never should we seek validation from a former colonial master who brought us into slavery to say, anoint this man, anoint Usain Bolt. If they want to do it, no problem. But it should not be the top. What should be the top is the achievements which have been made by Francis, by the Yaman the Banana from Jamaica. And then we can say, we're cool, man. We're cool. If they give it to us, no problem. We don't need it. If we're crying and say we need it, we got a problem. I say we got a problem. So, yes, I will overthink this. I'll dig into it deep because sometimes when you see some small little things and it looks like, oh, just chill, man. Deep down, it's like where there's smoke, there's fire. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, as a people, as a nation, and I say this without any doubt, I'm not a Pan-Africanist. I'm still born city. I'm even a conservative. And that's why... <laughs> Wouldn't an offer? Wouldn't wouldn't an offer of knighthood be celebrated as a mark of equal? No way. An offer of knighthood would be seen as a validation by the former colonial master to say you have made it. David Burton, think, man. I'm sorry, I'm calling you out, David Burton. Think of what you're saying, brother, and mark you with all due respect. It's your opinion. It's your view. But to ask the question, wouldn't an offer of knighthood be celebrated as a mark of equality? How can that be a mark of equality? That's a mark of deprivation. That's a mark of undermining the achievement of a black man. <laughs> Think about it, man. Gosh, man. No such thing as overthinking. While we sit around second-guessing our rights and what is due to us, the white racist establishments are implementing laws against our interests think about that man we got some serious work to do man i tell you this little post which i put out showed me that there's some serious work out there to do serious work out there to do man it, it, it jogged my memory it, sorry it jogged my mind and and i'm seeing persons coming out saying certain things that i have to i have to refer some people to to go back to school in jamaica and read up marcus garvey read up their history as well because a, a root Without your foundation, without your understanding of self, you'd be swayed left, right, and center. I fear our young people growing up without the knowledge of self. I fear our young people being swayed by saying, it's okay. I fear for the future if the knowledge of self is not understand and comprehended by those us who should know better to impregnate their mind with a level of recognition of who they are the jews will never let their young people don't know who they are they take them through they take them through slavery they take them through the, the holocaust they bring them through we should be take we should be saying to our people this is what we should say to you my young son we've got the queen and you're living in england but you don't need validation from them to be who you are you can that's why in roots if you remember when when uh, every time a child is born they took them to the river and they, they put them up like some sort of initiation to say that that is where your heritage lies our heritage doesn't lie in the colonial masters giving us validation oh some people don't like the word validation but i choose the word validation as I said, it's a psychological thing. Right? Knowing who you are. And that is, I find that to be a mighty task these days, a mighty fate. Because you see the brokenness in the community. You see black and black killing. You see the crab mentality. You know? 
David Burton, I respect what you're saying, brother. You say recognition, I say validation. So better you say your view is recognition, Silburn, not validation. I say it is validation. You may disagree with me, but I'm maintaining that position. Psychologically, you and many others, you don't know that, are seeing it as a validation of who you are. A validation of Usain Bolt to say it's great by a recognition and a honoring by the Queen of England. That is silly. That is stupid for people who brought up through the lineage of Marcus Garvey that say, up, ye mighty people, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. I love Michael Manley. When Michael Manley speaks with a level of passion, and I will not hold back and challenging yourself, David Burton, challenging other persons who seek to undermine the thinking and the social consciousness of a people by trying to say, just chill, don't overthink. That's what's killing us. Don't chill, just chill, don't overthink. What others take us for idiots. I hold back nothing now. And I speak with passion and pride of who I am. And yes, I'm a conservative member. But more importantly, I'm Silburn Sidiel. My validation comes from my roots, my father, my family, my heritage, coming through the lineage of Africa. Don't need no validation from man. Don't need no validation from even people to recognize and to understand who I am. We don't need that. And once we rec listen, nothing is wrong. Somebody say, hey, Silburn, man, I like you, man. I honor you. Okay, thank you, thank you, no problem, man. I put that in my little box up there, you know what I mean? With my others, you know what I mean? But for me to want to say, ladies and gentlemen, listen, I got this nomination for this particular award and I need all of you to vote for me to say that I'm the greatest talk show host for the century. I don't need that. What I want is Ben Mattis, David Burton, to come and say, listen, guys, Silburn CDL is a great guy, blah, blah, blah. Let, let us actually... um." appoint him let us let us make him um let us do this for him i love that but i'm not going to beg people to like me beg people to give me award beg people to say you are the greatest beg people to petition to say let us get the queen to honor him why why i will not be apologetic i will not go with the flow and I challenge you, I challenge you all to think about this little thing. It may seem as nothing, but I see something deeper. I see something in the psyche and the mindset of our black people to accept it and see it as, it's okay. Just cool, man. Just chill. Relax. Hey, piece of cake, man. Ah, oh, you guys getting work up or so. Nah. I see young brothers, young kids killing themselves. I see them walking around, not understanding their roots, not understanding the passion. I see leaders taking them astray. Everybody's twisted up, everybody's doing different things. Things that we grew up on, some passionate things that we grew up on, some, some cultural thing that we grew up on is now through the door. Somebody and I was speaking the other day and I said, if we if if we gotta be careful that there's going to be this 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 massive gaping hole whereby the the link from the past to the present is not uphold and therefore we're going to have new young people have no level of linkage to their roots and by not having their linkage to their roots then guess what we turn left right and sway whereby other nations other groups will go on far ahead of us and if you look at ourselves today look 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 and i rest my case there right and this is my man and i would always be speaking like this it is something i speak about on facebook all the while it is something i speak about all the while it's like all my posts always come back down to this single point having a recognition of self having a recognition of who you are working together strategize marcus garvey don't need a petition buddy why does marcus uh, 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 david you're missing the point bro man Marcus Garvey don't need a petition. A leader, a freedom fighter, a hero, is only a hero because of the work that he has done. A hero breaks the law. When I say break the law, it breaks the laws of that period, of that time. 
I lead the, 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 the Malcolm X, the Marcus Garvey, the Rosa Parks, the Mandela, the Paul Bogle, Michael Manley, not Michael Manley, Norman Washington Manley, all of these persons, they did not conform. They transformed. They did not conform to the thinking of that time. So therefore, for someone to want to go for a petition for Marcus Garvey, for what? A petition for Marcus Garvey for him to be exonerated? That is silly. That was a silly movement in the States. I say that. I, I saw Bobsy Granger saying that they're going to exonerate. Why? The legacy is intact. The, the, the teachings, the, the writings, the, the consciousness is there. Why spoil it? Come on, man. Anyway, that's what I wanted to say. And I'm happy that I got this out. Feel free. You know what I'm saying? Glad for the challenges. And I challenge you, ladies and gentlemen. Felicia Karina. I get it. The petition of both totally negates the honor. Whomever came forward with that petition should have done some serious... It is a member of parliament of Jamaican heritage by the name of Don Butler who brought it up. It's out there. And the reason why I bring out these things and I say these things is that for too long, black people have sat back while persons at the forefront say things, do things, seen in the limelight, and then it is perceived as if they're speaking for me, like they're speaking for you. So I said, no way anymore will I actually accept these things. I'll speak out and I'll let my voice be heard as well to say that I negate that action. I negate that sort of proactive action or, or that thinking. That's not my thinking. Because if we don't challenge this thinking, we will think that it's okay. I say it's not okay. Knowledge of self, self-actualization, knowing you are, don't go with the flow and challenge things which comes against that, that sort of Marcus Garvey thinking, that, that consciousness. Yeah? And as Ben Matty says, a leader breaks unjust laws. So we don't need petitions to get Marcus Garvey exonerated. We don't need petition to get Paul Bogle, George William Gordon exonerated for anything. Their legacy is intact and it stands intact. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Silver and Sidio, and that's my piece. And please share this video because I hold back nothing there and I have no apologies. And I say what I want to say and who don't like it, bite it. Simple. Okay, peace out. And keep commenting. I'll follow up on the comments and everything like that. But let us not be fooled. Yeah, not all of us are stupid. Okay, and I challenge anyone. And, you know, on my Facebook page, sometimes people say that I'm trying to undermine them. I'm trying to speak down at them. But I, all I say is this. Listen, guys, I just speak it. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry. I can't, I'm not here to please, man. I, I, I stop that. Ben Mattis, you know me. He's an Ochi man. You know what I mean? I can't bother with that. Uh, time is too short now. You know what I mean? Got our kids them growing up and stuff like that. You know, you know. I was, I'm finding men now. Men now who are supposed to be leaders now are what you call... I don't know what we should, you know, men should be standing up, man. You know, the, the, the woman's anatomy. That's what I call men these last days now. That, 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 I can't even say it. <laughs> you know, we're, we're not strong. We're not, we're trying to conform. We're trying to, to fit in the mold. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to play it safe. We're playing safe too long. And being safe is killing us. As a people. And it annoys me. It annoys me very much. So. Call me out on Facebook. And I'll call you out as well. People sometimes say that I take it personal. Or I'm taking something personal. Well it's personal. If, 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 if what you're passionate about is not personal. Then you've got a problem. You know, if, if, if you're not able to take the challenge, to take the hit, you know, 
then get out of the way, man. Because I'm coming at you straight. I'm not going to play around. I'm not going to kid around. I'm saying it as it is. For too long. And mark you. I'm the first person who will be smiling and nice and everything. But I, you know, it's like, that, nah, it's like the other day. You know, I said to someone, I saw someone came and smile up in my face after they disrespect me and call me all different names. Write about me, even have posts all about me on, on Facebook. And smile up at me. I said, listen, don't smile up at me, man. Don't, I, I don't do that. I'm not a hypocrite. I can't smile up with persons who, who speak ill of me or something like that. When I'm not even speaking ill of them, I'm not even thinking about them. But then when it's brought to my knowledge, I'm not smiling at me. I said, no, I, I'm not into those things. No more time for hypocrisy. Hi, hi, hypocrisy. My Jamaican thing, you know what I mean? No more time for playing around with people. No more time for that. Life is too short. We've got one life to live. We've got to be a freedom fighter. We've got to be leadership with potential, with, with resolve. Knowing who you are, not wanting to accept, um, an, um, what should I say, honor, just because it makes you feel good, but, but, but having a recognition of self. I could go on forever, ladies and gentlemen. I could hold the platform for a long time, and I could speak like this, because it's not something which is, um, I'm learning each day, it is something which is built in me. Yeah? And I don't mind to be um, on the minority side of things. I'm always on the minority side of things in my discussions most times. Um, I tend not to always have the popular view and I choose not to have the popular view. And if I find myself with a popular view, I question that view and I dig and I say, not that I'll change the view if it is popular, if it is the right view, but I question myself if I'm too liked. I question myself if, um, if this is too, uh, you know, I, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, Ben, it's not on the left, you know. I help anyone when it comes on to the wall aspiration and the building of our people. That's where I come in. I know. Just be myself. And I'm there. Listen, I, I'm serious. I call out the other people and say, next year there's going to be an election, a local government election. And I said, contact me, whether you're Labour, Conservative, whatever. I'll direct you to the right people. I'm not going to try to direct you into my party or my thinking. But I want to get person's position in a level of uh, strategic angle and to be intelligent thinking. Intelligent thinking. Please share this video, ladies and gentlemen. Press share, like, blah, blah, blah. There's much more going to be coming from this mouth and from the passion which I have as you know me I, I, I don't have the time to waste Ben guys Sharon Anderson Sherika Green everybody um, all the best um, watch your video share it and I'm going to put it on YouTube as well I'm going to get my guy to put this on YouTube because um, uh, I was just going to be uh, making a, a very small thing subscribe to the Silburn show subscribe to me on Twitter Instagram Silburn TV uh, Silburn or whatever like that and uh and finally, my, my last word for this is this. I want everybody to say this. is, Don't be beggy beggy. Alright? My Jamaican friends who know that will understand that. My English friends who don't understand that. Message and ask for interpretation. Don't be beggy beggy and licky licky. Alright? And somebody earlier early asked me when I said low, low the situation. Low it. They asked me what do you mean by low it? I say, well if you're not Jamaican. Well we can give you an interpretation as well. Alright? <laughs> David. Peace out, guys. Love you. You know, um, I just shoot straight. You know, guys, I'm a friend with everybody like that. But I, I, I you know, I, I just shoot straight. Okay, and I like to get shot back at. Okay, but sometimes I don't see it because actually, I'm ahead of the game. Like sometimes somebody said one time, Silver, man is shooting arrows at you, and I said, and I said, uh, uh, well, you know what? I'm not gonna see the, the 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 arrows because I'm ahead of the arrows. So the arrows, while they're coming at me, they're not facing me. They're actually dropping behind me, stuff like that. So I'm not actually seeing even the arrows and stuff like that. You know, somebody said to me, "Come here," I said, "Boy, Silver, I don't think they like you that much in the Jamaican community." And I said, "Well, I I wasn't born to be liked, you know, because you challenge the status quo." And I think I've been doing that for years, and um, I'm not in any group or in any sort of clique i'm not a clique person i think the only clique i'm in is my family clique and stuff like that but ladies and gentlemen i challenge you don't be beggy beggy and licky licky all right and <laughs> i'm serious I, I said don't be beggy beggy and licky licky know yourself know you are 
the self-actualization of a man, make him strong. We've got our children that we've got to lead. And we've got to lead them with the knowledge of who they are. But if you don't know who you are, it's going to be difficult. And then we're going to have a, a misplaced generation of children, of new adults, who are just... I'm not going to say the word, but you know the word I was going to say. All right? No beggy beggy, no licky licky. Exactly. I'm going to actually put that song up. I'm going to put that song up, Felicia. Anyway, all the best. Um, You guys in the States, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on over there, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you got to deal with that chum factor, you know. I think I think, I think, think everything is happening out there. I'm, I'll do the Usain Bolt thing, you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> I don't know what's, what's going to happen over there, you know, but... Uh, but it's all well. It's all well. Everything is working out. Things tend to work out in a way like that, you know? All right? So peace out. All the best. Silver and out. Cheers.